Okay, what is up guys? RCC is officially back. The goal of this series is to start a truck dealership with not a crazy amount of money. Yes, we have a couple nice buildings, but we're going to start with a little money and then flip our way through trucks and sell different trucks, campers, ATVs, dirt bikes, boats, because we even got a lake here, and try and make this an ultimate truck dealership. Now, as you guys can see in the upper left hand corner, we have $90 million. So for this video and this video only, we're kind of starting with not as big a budget. We're getting our dealership stockpiled with trucks. And then to come next video, we'll start on a budget. To start off the video, we have four different work trucks. They are stock as heck. We just got back from the Ford dealership. They all have RCC decals on them. So you got the RCC decal, roll call customs in the front, the side, we got two duallys, and then boat, and then two single rear wheel trucks. So the RCC dealership takes place in Wyoming. This is the what we call the Wyoming map. And here's the dealership. I gotta give a big thanks to Nate, Nate the Great, for building this dealership. Boys, say hello. Santa? To your new truck. Yes, this is Santa. I better not have the one that's got the screwed up frame. Okay, that one that one comes with a with a you get ten more thousand dollars to spend on customizing the truck on that one. Ooh. It might have some issues, but it's all good, boys. Whatever one you guys don't take, I'll take. So you got option between a dually and a single rear, rear wheel. I want a dually. You want a dually? Got one dually left? Buck, Jake? Oh. Jake, go on. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. Jake's taking a dually, Buck. What one do you want? Do you want the frame or do you want the good one? Well, I have to fix everything anyway, so I might as well fix something that I trust. So I'll take the screwed up one. Okay, the most important tool at RCC is a telehandler because basically we start stacking all of our toys and stuff really high up on buildings and stuff, on signs. You guys know how it is. So this is how we do it here. Wait, this is box truck, right? And... Yeah, this is box truck. Now, now take yeah. it easy on the guy. I know what you're about to do. <laughs> Remember, I'm the one that does all your mechanical work. Higher, higher. Buddy, higher. I, I think there you're you in the trailer a little bit. There Keep you go. Going. Okay, there we go. We may need some rear weights in this. Yeah, we want us to stand on the back. Well, well, that's 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 one oh, way to I'll just, down. I'll just move it. We got three of the tires. You go ahead and get the last one. Oh, oh, the exhaust. Uh, Perfect. We're good. Okay, so we're gonna roll all of our work trucks into the shop. Everybody's gonna come out with them customized. I'm assuming Bucks is probably gonna look like it does. He keeps that thing bone stock. So hey, I'd leave me alone. I'd be surprised to put see more tread on that truck even. Okay, we're gonna customize my work truck quick. Bucks getting his on the lift. Yeah, you didn't center yours on the lift. This uh -huh, is why fine. I'm the it's mechanic. Fine. It's fine, oh, we're good. Boy. We're good. Oh my God. Okay, so for the work truck, I'm thinking We'll go F-350, 20-inch polish rims. I would get flatbed, but the flatbed option, it we don't have an option for a single or a real flatbed because that sticks out just way too far. That's for like a 350. Okay, so here's what we got for the RCC work truck. We went kind of the chrome design. We had to keep it white, of course. We went 20-inch rims with some kind of aggressive tires. I would love to have mud flaps on there, but there's no options for mud flaps. I think mud flaps always make a truck look better. Got a bumper hitch. We got a fifth wheel because of the gooseneck for some reason. Won't attach to some trailers when I run gooseneck options, but fifth wheel does for some reason. It's weird, but it looks good with 20-inch rims. So this is what we're running. I think Buck, Nate, and Jake are going to have some crazy setups, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, the RCC truck, baby. Oh, Buck, come on, man. You couldn't throw it on the 20-inch rims. Hey, I put Mickey Thompson's on there. Leave me alone. So everybody is rolling out. Everybody gets $50,000 each individual to go buy a truck that we're going to flip and put up the lot. Because right now we need a ton of inventory on RCC. But first, Nate's going to give us a tour of this place. All right. Now this is the lounging area where we get to relax with the night when we ain't got no customers or no builds to currently do. This back here is where we have to do the majority of our work on our personal trucks. And then this is the main shop where the majority of the work will be done which this will be Buck's place of home, and he told me if I touch anything, I get sued. And then in the front, we have the office where we'll have the office lady and the office guy. We still got to hire them yet, but they will be sitting up front for RCC. We got an old Coca-Cola machine, a John Deere, a little ice cream cone in case a little kid comes in here, and Buck. Buck uses that too. Another yeah, office see. for rental man Buck in here, and then we got the restroom. Alrighty, this is the RCC testing lab. So this is where we'll test suspensions of the vehicles. 
You have the power test right here to make sure that you can't roll the logs. Then you have this. This is the same thing as the other one, but you got mud involved, so you could possibly slip and hit that pole. Okay, we got the golf cart completely stuck in there, but it proves the point. That's a mudding testing facility we got right there, so this is going to work good, and we even have lights for at night. Okay, so I'm shutting down shop. Each of us, like I said, get a vehicle to find. We each get 50 grand to st start stocking inventory. So Nate's going to head out. Those guys are already headed out. And then I've got a Facebook deal lined up to buy an old pickup truck that we're going to put a lift kit on, put different rims, and do a paint job on it and resell it. We'll get hooked up to the gooseneck. Okay, so the truck I'm looking at is a 97 Ford F-357 III. The story behind it is the guy hauled a camper with it. It's only got 20K miles on it. It's a dually, but the bad side is it's got a plow mount on it. So I'm hoping this guy didn't push too much snow with this thing. He's got it listed at 20K. 20K, 20K miles, like that's the, some of these auctions will sell for that. So we'll see what we give him down to. And uh, there she is. It, it's looking good condition. It looks like he's already got it running too. Okay, so we got her bought for 20k. The guy was stiff. He wasn't dropping his price at all. We had to pay asking price 20k, which I think we still got a good deal. And especially after we had some truck customizations, we can sell this on RCC all day for probably 25-30k. Maybe not all day, one of these days, but it'll sell good still. Okay, so we got a three-wheeler. We picked up on top of that from another guy and then we got the 350 which we're gonna customize it's stock as heck right now got stock mirrors we're gonna throw mud flaps we're gonna we're gonna customize this thing maybe do a paint job on it and get this thing looking super sharp oh red old man buck that is the roughest ranger you will ever see i don't know if it's a ranger or if it's a mazda either way it is junk how much you pay it don't run eight grand that's four wheel drive eight grand it's for that thing yeah, it's got four-wheel drive. How much it's you got to list it for? Uh, after modifications listing, I'm probably going to try and at least get maybe 35 out of it. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, dude. <laughs> Where did he pick that thing up at? Okay, so we got ended up with two OBSs, it looks like. We got an XJ. Everybody's going to probably do their customizations, and then we're going to get these on the lot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Dang, that thing is pretty neat. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Stock, old farmer, all he did is pull his camper. 20k miles on it. That's it. Neat. Oh. It, it was his wife's truck, and he painted it like that. And, oh, and my gosh, dude. It. Okay, boys, we got her off the lift. Check her out. It's an F-350 dually. I couldn't put, like, a lift kit. I was hoping I could, but we couldn't get the parts in in time. So she's going to stay stock for now. Maybe at some point we will. But it's a good old farm truck. It looks good. We got the front bumper. Got the front cow pushers. Some people call them cow pushers. Got a visor in the front. Got heavy-duty tow mirrors now. Got the steps off the truck. We got the arm handles on the side. We got the mud flaps. We got the toolbox. We got the fifth wheel. We got the bed rails. Bed rails always make a truck look better, in my opinion. I like it. Oh yeah. Nothing too fancy, but I think she'll sell pretty quick. Hey, don't go in there. Don't go in there, Anna. Don't oh go in there, my Anna. gosh, Nate. Don't tell me you just put a disgrace to the OBS Fords. Don't don't go in there right a second. Let's uh <laughs> let, let's uh, wait on uh, Jake to show you his, then you can see uh, well, uh are we gonna Buck's. wait for Buck or I was about to say we need to wait on Buck. Buckarooey, hurry up. I'm getting there. Oh, I was my. not expecting that. Riddle man, was... book. Tonka Tonka, look at you. That looks good. So, I completely stripped down the entire paint. The body had rust on it. We did sheet metal fab work. We also did floorboard work. Got it painted yellow. We spent in total about $12,000 on the paint job. And then we bought an $8,000 crate diesel that we stuck underneath the hood of this thing. All right, boys, who's next? The pickle. Okay. <laughs> holy crap dude now this is good not, not that right. box wasn't good or anything but holy Toledo. <laughs> so boys no, you see we I, lifted I her this up one has better wheels yeah we lifted her up put her on some big old wheels that sink into the concrete they're so heavy put steps on her roof rack put a white camouflage over it new bumper in the front snorkel on the side oh. i mean she's looking pretty good she's still got the same engine underneath nothing changed there mechanically the, i bought this thing for nine thousand six hundred dollars with everything put into it i mean i wouldn't be surprised if we could probably get probably at least 32 okay so but it, what did you do to this thing 
I went and looked at it and said, what would Officer Farmer do? And I did that, okay? So, we, of course, <laughs> jacked to put a lift kit on it. And then after that, the lift kit was about almost about $5,000-ish. Of course, put the rubber bands on it. New bumper. Had to switch out the bed for a flat bed on it. I spent 10000 on it. We should be able to get about forty for it. You're telling me you took an old truck like this with 30,000 miles. I mean, that's rare to find. And it was in pristine condition, just needed painted. And you said, let me cut that bed off of it. That, that's 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 the thought you had that, that was kind of the first thought i had yeah okay so we need more trucks for the rcc dealership so each of us four are going to buy a different truck this is why i got customized out a f-150 trust me i'll put chevys and dodges in there guys we just had a lot of ford mods so that's why we're doing a bunch of fords trust me over time we'll get more but check this thing out lifted i don't even know what rims we got gen y hitch we got a toolbox I mean, the tires can barely even fit in the rear of the bed. We don't have much bed space anymore. It's a Platinum. It might be a Lariat, or it might be a, uh, a limited truck. But this thing is going to sell good on RCC. Holy Toledo! I don't even know what type of exhaust is on this thing. But I think this deserves top spot on the, uh, on the rock here. Okay, who got the Ram? Who got the... Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> Everybody got a ram? Holy Toledo. Should we do some mud? Yeah, I let's do some mud, mud, boys. What okay. are we taking? I we really want to take my Tonka down. truck, but I really want to take this truck. I'm taking I'll the 150. What, boys. Okay, we're going to test this thing out, get this thing a little dirty, and then we got to clean her off and put her back because we got to sell her. Who's hitting the trail first? I've already started. Oh, I'm already it's in like the mud. On Come it. on now. Okay, we got the truck crazy dirty. It does good in the mud. It has a little engine weird noise. It's, it should be fine. I'm just going to throw a power washer down. We're going to wash this thing off. Get her all clean. Put her for sale. And we'll have enough inventory to finally start selling some trucks here at RCC. Well, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed episode number one of RCC where we start this thing. And we need a bunch more trucks in inventory sale. So we'll just keep buying and buying and buying trucks and then eventually start selling them. So thanks for watching. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.